FCS opponent on a muggy, humid afternoon didn't stop Fresno State fans from coming out to support their beloved team on Saturday. It was Fiesta night at Bulldog Stadium, so sending the crowd home without something to celebrate was not an option. However, they were given somewhat of a surprise, an unexpected fight from Cal Poly. We knew they were going to fight because this is like their, their biggest game or whatever, so we just, in the second half, just held it down for, uh, for the defense. After a slow start from the Bulldogs, Cal Poly was first to get on the board, and that's when it became apparent the Mustangs were prepared to battle. It wasn't until late in the first quarter when a freshman spark by the name of Isaiah Burst came through with a 58-yard touchdown to put Fresno State on the board for the first time. Tracy Slocum then added to the newly found momentum just two minutes later, rushing for a 14-yard touchdown that put the dogs up 14-3. But it wasn't over yet. Fresno State was making mistakes that the Mustangs were capitalizing on. They finished with 11 penalties for 99 yards, and the lack of discipline from the Bulldogs is something that will be strongly addressed. The last two years, we've been the least penalized team in the uh, conference. And tonight, we had two blocks in the back, which started us inside the five-yard line on two kick kickoffs. And just those type of mistakes we can't make uh, next week against University of Wyoming. With five minutes remaining on the second quarter, the Bulldogs did something they're best known for. They blocked the Mustangs' punt, which is then recovered by Deja Dunn for a touchdown the first on his career. By the time the second half rolled in, it was evident the Bulldogs finally figured out how to defend the Mustangs' triple option, and Cal Poly wouldn't score again for the remainder of the game. I thought we played really well, you know, it was all assignment defense, and, you know, we just did our job and ran to the ball and ran the option down. From the third quarter on, Fresno State picked up the intensity and stayed on top of their game. Robbie Rouse is back on the field for the first time since his injuries and ran for a nine-yard score that increased the lead to 31-17. And with six minutes left in the game, quarterback Ryan Colburn's 11-yard touchdown pass to A.J. Johnson put the Dogs up 38-17 for the final score. The Bulldogs finished with a season-high 252 rushing yards, a significant improvement from their run game in earlier performances. The Bulldogs' homestand continues next week when WAC rival Hawaii makes the trip to Fresno. Pat Hill said his defense will go back to their normal assignments and his offense will look more to the passing game. The Dogs will be looking to improve their conference record to 2-0. For the Collegian Online, I'm Megan Morales.